What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today EA have released a brand new moments card and it is going to be Jerome Boa Tang. Now this guy right here gets a hyperlink with that team of the year Neuer that has also just came out. So it's going to be interesting to see how many people are actually going to use those two together. Because you can go for some beautiful links, especially with the Bundesliga. You can go for Klosterman next to Boa Tang and with that team of the year Neuer. Yeah. It's going to be one hell of a defensive line. But either way, this Boateng is obviously 6 foot 4. He's got 80 pace, 91 defending, 90 physical, 79 dribbling, and 81 passing. And if we are comparing this card to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus 10 to pace, a plus 13 to dribbling, a plus 5 to shooting, a plus 9 to passing, a plus 9 to defending, and a plus 11 to physicals as well. Medium, medium, 2 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Now the chem style I have gone for is a shadow. I feel like it's a no brainer, you know? Shadow has to be the way to go simply because of that acceleration not being absolutely insane he's already got the physicals you do not need to touch that like 97 strength and 90 aggression is absolutely insane so you might as well go for a shadow chem style now the stuff i'm a bit worried for when it comes down to this card is the acceleration not being enough to catch up to you know the mbappes the ronaldo's and like the neymar's and i'm kind of scared for the agility as well i know it's not terrible but i don't want him to feel actually terrible on the ball i want him to feel very comfortable you know i want him to shield players off be able to keep that ball very close to his feet and just obviously pass away so he has got 83 acceleration and 96 sprint speed not even going to get into shooting because he looks absolutely terrible but his passing ability looks pretty impressive 82 vision 78 crossing 87 short passing 95 long passing and 60 curve as well so the passing wise he should be able to do those lb wise all the way down the line that's what i'm hoping for and he should be able to do it with both feet because he has got that four star weak foot now the dribbling ability 75 agility 70 balance 96 reactions 81 ball control 75 dribbling with a 98 composure and this is where the stats get a bit tasty 95 interceptions 98 heading accuracy eight, uh, 95 for defensive awareness had to do quick maths there either way 99 stand tackling with the 99 slide tackling as well i'm expecting him especially him being six foot four he should be putting in one of the best tackles we have seen in this game now when it comes down to the physicals 90 jumping is absolutely insane for a six foot four player as well you can kind of use him as a player that obviously goes up for the corners and tries to win it and hit it into the back of the net because he has got that 98 heading actually to his game he has 75 stamina which you could question a little bit and I can understand, right? Because if you're sitting there, you know, trying to chase up a, like an Mbappe, a Ronaldo, a Neymar, kind of those players, 75 stamina might not actually be enough. But it obviously depends on what kind of style you play. Are you a person that likes to press, press with your centre-backs? Because if you are, that means Boateng is going to use way, way, way more stamina. But if you are a person that just kind of sits back in a little way, stamina should not be that big of a problem for you. He has got 97 strength with a 90 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to the links, I've got Stindle, Rio, and your boy Neuer in goal. Hopefully, I can obviously get that team of the year version very, very soon. Now, when it comes down to who else is in the team, Aguero, Allen, and Balassi. I will be playing Boateng in a 4-4-2 in that centre-back position, and that's the only position I will be trying him in today. So, let's get into the games. So, let's see how he feels on the ball. Hopefully, he feels actually pretty decent. That's okay. R1 dribbling. How's that? Not the greatest. He doesn't feel outstanding. I'm going to be real. He doesn't feel outstanding, but he feels quite comfortable on the ball. I'm actually shocked, by the way. How did he misplace that pass? Going for the tackle? Well played. Can't get it, though. Nah, come on. Boateng. Get into his face. Come on. Get into his personal space. Go for that little block. Well played. Let's give it to Boateng here. I do see an opening all the way at the top, so I'm hoping that pass actually goes perfect to it. It does. It goes perfectly to Akuna. Going to hit down. Well played. Good interception. Can I want to LBY this? I'm going to LBY it up top. Yeah, good pass. Really good pass. Those LBYs so far have been very consistent. So, boys, we do have a penalty here, and there's only one person that's going to take it. Come on now, Boateng. You're going to step up to the plate, and hopefully, you can smack it top bins. I saw a comment, by the way. A lot of people was like, why does Orzio get a penalty every single review? Hey, I'm trying these skill moves. They take me out. I take the penalty. as simple as that, and hopefully, we can obviously get the little dink into the top bins as well. Boateng, can you get there? Well played. Really, really good header. That's obviously that jumping ability just coming to play. And it also does help that he is six foot four. Boateng, well played. Really well played. Great shielding as well. Just going to keep going forward. Shall I export this all the way to the top? Look at that pass. Oh my God. Quick wide ball as well. We're in. We are in. Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. Keep going. Export to the back stick. 
Nah, I tried to mean it. I tried to get it to Aguero, not Balassi, I think it was. So this is a good thing about Boateng, right? The fact that he's six foot four and he can obviously win these kind of headers right here. And you have an opportunity actually scoring these if he doesn't bring out the keeper. But yeah, that's going to be something that I feel like is going to be very effective with him. Boateng, need you put in a good tackle. Well played. If he doesn't get that tackle in, by the way, the guy is in. Nice little dribbling. Little ball roll there. I'm telling you, he doesn't feel bad on the ball. I'm actually quite surprised. I thought he was going to feel way, way worse. Boateng, all the way to the top. <laughs> These passes, by the way, are ridiculous. Like, you can see that, like, how many times now? Like, three or four times now? You can just see how consistent that is. And if he can do those kind of passes, you know for a fact you can go for those quick counterattacks. I want to see his tracking. Look at him tracking right now automatically. Well played. That's really nice, nicely done by Boateng. The fact that he's tracked the guy by himself there. Look at tracking by Boateng, by the way. That tracking by Boateng is ridiculously good because that means I don't actually have to touch him and he's going to go track that player by himself because of that defensive awareness. Can I try to press a Rio? Now with Boateng. Nice, really good interception. Can I get that? No, I cannot get that. But can I get another interception? Yes, I can. You can obviously see that reach right there. For me, a player that's like, what, six foot, maybe even six foot one, they're not getting that. But because he has six, he is six foot and he's got that interception reach to his game, he instantly grabs it. It's going to go straight through the middle. Going to try to go for an interception. Oh, the guy didn't pass it. Nice little tackle. Well played. Through the middle. No pass to Cantona. He's going to try to turn me. Well played, Boateng. I'm telling you, boys. His tackling ability is really, really good. But something I have noticed is the fact that he hasn't got that, like, aggressive tackle to his game. Where, you know, he goes in and he follows through and tries to come out with a ball. He hasn't really got that. He's one of those players that kind of tackles the ball and just, like, kind of steps straight back with it. Nice pass in behind. Boateng saw him out, lad. Saw him out. That's what I mean, right? The thing is of him, he's six foot four with strength. So he's going to obviously try to get in front of the guy pretty much every single time. And with his kind of strength, he's going to obviously shield off the opponent. Boateng, going to just wait for him to go back up because I know for a fact he's going to go back up. And Boateng does use that strength to his game. Right now, I'm using him more of a, like a passive center back, by the way, because I'm looking at him kind of get his acceleration going towards the player. And I'm not really enjoying it too much. So I feel like a passive kind of center back is his kind of role rather than just like running straight out to the opponent. So if we are talking about his transition speed, you can clearly see here with me holding LT and RT just going left to right. I understand his stamina is quite low right now, but it still feels pretty, pretty good. Let's see if I can put in a block. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this guy's blocks are absolutely unreal. And that's going to be obviously helpful for people that do benefit of like AI blocks and stuff. Press a Rio right here. I don't want to press too much with Boateng. Going to go in now. Well played. Really good tackle. This guy stopped playing. He knows he can't get past Boateng. Boateng. No turn. Well played. Really, really good tackle. I'm telling you, this guy's tackles, like, he does it from the back. He does it from the front. It's just ridiculous. He always comes out with the ball. And this little partnership, by the way, that I've got right now, Rio and this Boateng card, my God, it's good. Because Rio's got that pace to his game, so he can obviously catch up to those really, really fast players. While Boateng, he's not an extremely fast player, I must admit, but he puts in one hell of a tackle. Boateng. I suppose I'm going to give it to Timo. Can Boateng sort him out? He does do really well, to be fair. Just shielding. Going to turn. Oh, there's no pass. All right, this guy's on that team press. He's on that team press. I tried to pass all the way up, but I saw it was covered. Boateng. Tried to cover that middle. No turn right there. Well played. And you see what I mean, though? He's on the other side of the player, and he's literally putting in a perfect tackle still. Okay, so we got a corner here. Hopefully, we can end up scoring this one. I'm not the greatest at corners, especially not the greatest at this, but Boateng... <gasps> I, no, that was, surely that was me. There's no way Boateng ends up missing out. I think I put a little bit too much power into it. But if I didn't, that's disappointing. I feel like that 100% should be going in. So it is time to review him. Two games played, a single goal scored of the zero assist as well. Now, obviously, we didn't end up getting an assist. But we all know if this guy wanted to get one, he could have got one. Because the passing ability on this card was absolutely outrageous. Now, obviously, the goal was a penalty. So it's not too much to talk about. But I felt like he scored, could have scored two goals. That header that he missed was super disappointing because it was pretty much wide open now obviously you could blame that on me but i'm not sure if i put too much power and i'm not sure if it was him he 
wheels, you know, more of a 50-50 if anything. Either way, this card for 200k, I do actually say it's worth it. I really do. Because you have to understand the links this guy gets also. He gets that link with Klosterman. He gets that link with Neuer. He gets beautiful, beautiful links. So when it comes down to links and him being a good player, 200k is a reasonable price. So yeah, for me personally, it is actually worth it. Now, who is better? This card or that, or that uh, what's it called? Road to the final Klosterman card. Klosterman. Sorry, I have to say it. It has to be Klosterman. Listen, all right? That 85 overall Klosterman card is an absolute joke. Like an absolute joke when it comes down to how fast he is, how good he puts in a tackle, his physicality. It's just on a whole, whole new level. And there is some like little bits that you'll notice on Boateng that is not top, top tier. And I'll get into that in a minute. Medium, medium work rate, six foot four, two star skill moves, four star weak foot. Four star weak foot was really nice with obviously passing the ball with either foot. Six foot four, interception reach. You saw it multiple times coming to play. It was insane. Pace-wise, now this is the problem of him, right? I thought personally Boateng was going to be one of those players that if he wants to go press the opponent, he can. Or if he wants to be a very passive centre-back where you just wait for the perfect moment to go in, he can also do that. But he only actually can do one like really good and it is more of the passive centre-back kind of role. Because he is six foot four, and because he hasn't got the greatest acceleration, he doesn't really get out to the opponent as fast as you would like it to be. And obviously, if you don't get out to him as fast as you, know, as fast as you want it to be, there could be that certain situation where you've pushed, pushed them out of position, your opponent has enough time to react, they pass it around them, boom, it's a goal. So for Pace, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like an 8.8 .8 to an 8.9 out of 10. It's fast, it's just not insanely fast, you know? Passing ability, this is where I have to give him a high rating because his passing ability was insane. So for passing, I am going to give him, I would say like a 9.2 to a 9.3 out of 10. Dribbling ability, I felt like he was very comfortable in the ball. I feel like he was a player that you can obviously go forward a little bit and dribble with, but I don't, you know, don't overdo it like what I did in one of the clips, I believe it was. It was me just running forward in a straight line for absolutely no reason. So for dribbling, I am going to, I'll probably give him like a 7.7 .7 out of 10. As I said, it's good, okay? It's not, uh, it's not amazing. You know, it's not some of the best I've seen when it comes down to dribbling for centre-backs. Defending-wise, this is where I have to give him a high rating. I really do. You can't go against it either. The guy, when it comes down to interceptions, when it comes down to putting in tackles, it has to be, I would probably say, a 9.7 out of 10. The reason I'm not going to give it 10 out of 10, and even though I feel like I kind of should be, is because I have seen actually better tackles than Boateng's. I've seen Virgil van Dijk's and I've seen that road to the final Klosterman card putting in tackles. Both of those players put in a very, very aggressive tackle. While with Boateng, I felt like he was not too aggressive when going in for the tackles, but he still came out with a ball, I would say, the majority of the time. But I, I like that aggressiveness to him, you know? I like when they just follow through all the way. But Virgil van Dijk and obviously Klosterman, those two players do that kind of stuff and Boateng didn't really. So that's why I feel like I can't give him a 10 out of 10 physicals great strength great aggression i actually felt like the stamina did last throughout the whole 90 minutes so completely no complaints when it comes down to physicals so i am gonna give him a 10 out of 10 for physicals but an overall rating out of 10 i am gonna give this card i would honest, honestly say like a 9.3 out of 10 I feel like this card has got, a, you know, a decent amount of stuff that he can improve in. Like the acceleration, the agility, the balance and stuff like that. But it's an outstanding card without a doubt. And yes, it is obviously worth doing. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.